So June has flown by and it flew by again really quick like May did and to be honest I really thought I'd struggle to find some sort of collective um, June favourites. My dog is sniffing everything that I've got put to one side and stop licking things. So I thought I'd share with you the things that I did muster up. I'm really sorry about the dodgy lighting but the sun is above me so you'll see intermittent shadows on my face but I can't film in my conservatory at the minute because it's so hot my camera keeps cutting out and I keep having to put it in the fridge it's really irritating. I'm really loving the temperature right now it's definitely some bathing weather and I'm in my play suit so it's going to be a really lovely day. Maybe we'll have a barbecue. Actually, no, I'm going to do beer can chicken later, so I can't wait for that. So I've had to get rid of my dog because he just kept barking over video. So the first thing that I have to share with you as my favourite was Orange is the New Black, the third series. It was on Netflix and to be honest, it really set my um, blogging back completely for two weeks almost. So I'm terrible with telling a story, but basically I'll try and put it in very simple terms lady called Piper she is I don't know if she's married or with a boyfriend but she's very successful and she's left her past behind her and a past repeated on her from a previous relationship and a past relationship was linked to um, being help helping drug smuggling I really can't do I'm not very good at telling stories like I said but her ex-lover who was involved at the time actually um, ends up being in the same prison and it's really really good I have to say so please give it a go it's turning into a very Walter White breaking bad theme at the minute so I'm really getting hooked even more but the only thing is it's going to be a year until the next series so I'm going to have to re-watch it again anyway just to recap my memory because when we first watched the first episode it was like who, who was that who you just forget all the names the second one that I've loved all of this month is Robinson's Squash. Now, everybody got this free and goodie bag on the way out of the BBC Good Food Summer event, so it wasn't just especially sent to me, but it's, I love this compact size, and you just squirt a little bit into a glass of water. I do agree with the statement that it makes about 20 portions, but I like my drinks quite, um, weak. I don't like a cordial that's really strong, it just puts me off. But the question is, would I buy it again? I definitely have to say no because £2 I think is quite steep when a bottle of cordial, you can get it really really cheap. But bear in mind I do work from home so I don't need a compact size. My fiance did take one to work um, and we had four of these and we have been drinking it like crazy because it's been so hot. Um, so yeah, absolutely love it, but if it was a pound, then I maybe consider it, but at the minute I just don't need necessarily a compact size for a cordial. I'm happy enough paying a lot less for a bigger bottle just to go on my shelf. Three, I don't have it with me because I've eaten them all and we fell in love with our local award-winning butchers, their steaks and burgers, and I did a few recipes with them and we had their steaks and cheese melt in the middle burgers and they were so yummy their steaks were the best butchers are actually called Frank Parker's butchers and I think they do deliver but they do the nicest steaks that we've ever tasted they are pricey but I just think that may be encouraged you just to try your local butcher not necessarily that one but I've never tasted anything like it highly recommend it the next favorites probably don't come to a surprise to any of you and that is fry light infused garlic and chili I've done loads with these they're just so lovely and they just literally do spice up your meals where do I start I've garlic I've done a garlic mash I've done a garlic bread chili I've been having to play around with chocolate and chili when I've been doing ice creams and even one linked up to the next one I'm going to show you so my next one is smooth almond butter and I have to say I'm probably now officially addicted so I won't be buying this again because it's just I just don't need the temptation but it is really nice particularly with my last favorite chili oil if you put the two together with a dash of soy sauce you have the quickest and tastiest peanut butter satay sauce if you just went on my blog now and searched satay you'd come up with loads of hits it's turning into one of my absolute favorites and what I've also been doing is instead of just having dates with peanut butter or almond butter inside I've been adding this again too just for that extra kick
so let me know how you get on with that but that is one of my favorites my next favorite i can't believe i've gone so long without not knowing this and that is just freezing bananas and blending it into ice cream it's so simple it tastes delicious it tastes identical to ice cream in my opinion and of course you put loads of flavors with it in fact one of my last videos was really popular i did chili with the chocolate my favorite one was actually lemon and date and this is what it looks like this is leftovers mm. and the other thing is if you see really cheap ripe bananas reduced in the supermarket just buy them peel them throw them in your freezer you can turn them into a really thick milkshake later on or do this and I've also been freezing my strawberries so I can't wait to freeze any berries and fruit I possibly can find how I didn't bother to do that before I don't know because it's so frugal and it just changes everything and I'll leave all the links in the videos below of the recipe that I'm mentioning then my other favorite is actually an app I can't really show you because my phone is my camera but the app is called bounce and if you've got an activity tracker then you really need to get this app it's free and it's really just an incentive scheme the more steps you do the more it converts points into prizes and becomes money off vouchers for high street shops I'm not there yet to get any money off at the minute but I know loads of people in Facebook groups have said they've had five pound off Asda and things off the bill it just makes sense especially when I'm just doing steps anyway and then finally I've been on a huge hunt for a decent nail varnish and I've bought absolutely loads I must say but um, my favourite is actually Barry M's Sugar Apple and it gives a gel shine so it's a gel like nail varnish when I first tried this I didn't give it the best review on my blog but I just absolutely love the colour and it only really lasts a day on me but I don't have anything on at the minute because I've been gardening but this I just think is so sweet and I just love it cacao powder which is a unprocessed raw form of uh, cocoa powder and I've been putting this in my dates making hot chocolate and putting it in ice creams and smoothies which I have to say when it comes to that time of the month then I feel this is when I need it the most I need the energy but it's quite dear at four pounds so I'm going to make this last a long time when I need a chocolate fix but I really want to experiment at a later date with just like butternut squash and turning it into uh, brownies and things because I'm growing to well I'm trying to grow butternuts anyway so I can't wait for that so that is all my favorites please let me know your favorites below and anything that you think would really truly help me then please please don't keep it a secret I need to know and if you want me to do more kinds of videos like these give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one who knows what July is going to bring I live on a main road so cars going past really does not help so my oh god look off.